If a mysterious haunting trill catches your attention in the night, don't be alarmed, for it may come from an owl no bigger than a pint glass. The eastern screech owl is a short, stocky bird with a large head and almost no neck. Its wings are rounded and its tail is short and square. Pointed ear tufts are often raised, lending its head a distinctive silhouette. Eastern screech owls can be either mostly gray or mostly reddish brown. Whatever the overall color, they are patterned with complex bands and spots that give the bird excellent camouflage against tree bark. The eyes are a dull yellow. Red and gray individuals occur across the range of the eastern screech owl, with about one third of all individuals being red. Rufous owls are more common in the east, with fewer than 15% red at the western edge of the range. No red owls are known from southern Texas, although they occur further north in Texas and further south in Mexico. Intermediate brownish individuals also occur in most populations. Almost any habitat with sufficient tree cover will do for the eastern screech owl. Fairly open understories are preferred, but eastern screech owls live and breed successfully in farmland, suburban landscapes, and city parks. On the Great Plains, at the westernmost edge of its range, eastern screech owls occur in the uneven traces of wooded land across streams and rivers. Screech owls cannot survive if all trees are removed, but the species readily recolonizes once trees are replanted. Eastern screech owls nest in holes and cavities, but never dig a cavity themselves. Thus, they depend on nest boxes or tree holes opened or enlarged by woodpeckers, fungus, rot, or squirrels. Eastern screech owls readily accept nest boxes, including those built for wood ducks or purple martins, and sometimes nest in wood piles, mailboxes, or crates left on the ground. Because these owls readily accept nest boxes, consider putting one up to attract a breeding pair. Make sure you put it up well before breeding season and attach a guard to keep predators from raiding eggs and young. Eastern screech owls are active at night and are far more often heard than seen. Most birders know this species only from its trilling or whining call that sounds like this. If you're looking to find this bird, listen in wooded areas at night for the trills and whines of this vocal owl. Smaller birds can help you find the screech owls during the day. Listen for a commotion of blue jays, chickadees, and titmice. They may be mobbing a screech owl or another raptor, swooping around it with noisy calls. This can be enough of a nuisance to make the owl move on, and it alerts other birds to the predator's presence and teaches younger members of the flock about the danger. You can also look closely at tree cavities and nest boxes, especially on cold sunny days. You may see the owl sunning sleepily in the entrance. The Macaw's Eastern Screech Owl inhibits South Central Texas and parts of Northern Mexico. It may prove to be a separate species as it is always gray and never gives the whiny call. The two common color morphs, gray and rufous, represent individual variation and don't vary consistently by region or subspecies. Eastern screech owls eat most kinds of small animals, including birds and mammals, as well as surprisingly large numbers of earthworms, insects, crayfish, tadpoles, frogs, and lizards. Mammals include rats, mice, squirrels, moles, and rabbits. Small birds taken as prey include flycatchers, swallows, thrushes, waxwings, and finches, as well as larger species such as jays, grouse, doves, shorebirds, and woodpeckers. The eastern screech owl is also known to eat the European starling. However, despite this fact, 
the starling regularly displaces the owl from nesting sites and takes over the hole to raise its own brood. This owl is also agile enough to occasionally prey on bats, and can rarely even be cannibalistic. When prey is plentiful, eastern screech owls cache extra food in tree holes for as long as four days. Eastern screech owls are chiefly active at night, though they often hunt at dawn or dusk, and occasionally in daylight. These versatile hunters sit and wait in the trees for prey to pass below. They tend to pounce from perches 6 to 10 feet off the ground, occasionally snatching an insect or bat on the wing, or hitting shallow water talons first to snag fish or tadpoles. Most flights are short, and when traveling between perches, these owls often drop, fly straight, then rise again in a characteristic U-shaped pattern. Gradually, as the young gain skill, they begin to roost and hunt apart from their parents and siblings. Screech owls regurgitate the bones, fur, and feathers of their prey in an oval pellet, usually once or twice a day. The ground beneath owl roosts can be littered with these pellets, and you can learn a lot from them about the owl's diet. However, data from pellets may underestimate the number of soft-bodied animals like worms and insects the owl has eaten. Like most raptors, male eastern screech owls are smaller than females and are more agile flyers and hunters. Though the male is smaller, his voice is deeper than the female's. When nesting, the female stays in the nest hole except for brief dawn and dusk excursions. She and the nestlings are fed by her mate, though it is the female who tears the prey into small bits for the babies. Eastern screech owl pairs usually are monogamous and remain together for life. Some males, however, will mate with two different females. The second female may evict the first female, lay her own eggs in the nest, and incubate both clutches. At fledging, the young first hop to the ground or nearby branches, using feet and fluttering wings to climb laboriously back to safety. Young gain flight and hunting skills slowly. They depend on their parents for food for 8 to 10 weeks after fledging. Both parents feed the youngsters at this stage, and adults, especially the females, shelter together with the young in communal tree roosts. When it comes to conservation, eastern screech owl numbers are difficult to determine owing to their nocturnal lifestyle. According to the North American Breeding Bird Survey, their numbers have decreased annually by close to 1% for a cumulative decline of about 37% between 1966 and 2019. Partners in Flight estimates a global breeding population of 560,000 and rates the species 10 out of 20 on the Continental Concern Score, indicating a species of low conservation concern. Overall, this little owl is a generalist with unfussy eating and nesting habits and adjusts well to the presence of humans. In fact, suburban birds often survive better than their rural kin, and suburbs provide more prey, milder climates, and fewer predators. Eastern screech owls need trees to nest in, or at least nest boxes and bushy cover. But their small size, territorial tolerance, and broadly varied diet make this owl a successful survivor. Well, there you have it, everyone. This has been everything you need to know about the Eastern Screech Owl. This video was a long one and took a while to make, but I hope y'all are okay with that. I wanna say thank you once again to everyone who's subscribed recently or left a very nice comment. Even if it takes a while for me to upload, I still check the channel every day and I believe we've really formed a community here and I'm honored you guys want to be a part of that. But Anyways, if you got this far, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you take care.